Reasonable domain and range. Recently, my Algebra 2 students took a test that was given simultaneously over the entire school district. The test was what we had been studying up to that point, and that was mainly quadratic functions. While my students did very well in some areas, they fared very poorly in a couple of areas, and one of these areas was determining a reasonable domain and range of functions or relations. One thing I really drilled into my students is that the domain of a quadratic function, any quadratic function, is all real numbers. X is greater than negative infinity and smaller than infinity. Accordingly, for this problem, what is the domain of the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 8? The answer would be C. X is greater than negative infinity but less than infinity. And here's a problem from that test, this time calling for an interpretation of a graph of a quadratic function. For the graph below, which answer best describes its domain and range? I taught my students well that the domain is a set of all real numbers, and that would mean either answer A or C. And from here, if we can see that the highest value of y is 4, we can tell that y is less than or equal to 4, which means that the answer to this problem is C. But in the real world, the domain of quadratic functions is not from negative infinity to positive infinity. Let's take a look at our friend, basketball player Joe Quadratic, and analyze a shot he is taking. He's taking a 15-footer from the baseline. The ball follows a parabolic path to the basket. If we draw a grid for the situation, we see where the ball leaves Joe's hand about 8 feet off the ground. And it goes through the point here at 15 comma 10 because it's a 15 foot shot and the basket is 10 feet off the ground. Let's add another piece of information. Let's say that the ball reaches its apex or vertex at 8 comma 15. Now we add the problem. If the flight path of the ball can be modeled by the quadratic equation y equals negative 0.106x squared plus 0.72x plus 8, what is a reasonable domain for the situation? In teaching my Algebra 2 class this year, I strongly emphasized, again, that the domain of all quadratic functions is all real numbers, which can be written as answer A, x is greater than negative infinity and less than infinity. However, I didn't explain well enough that in real physical world situations, there is a restricted portion of the function where it applies, like in this problem. The key word here is reasonable. On closer examination, the domain extends from the release of the ball from Joe's hand here at x equals 0, all the way to here at the basket on the right where x equals 15. Therefore, our reasonable answer is C, x such that x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 15. Here's another problem, this one from the test. The shape of each arch supporting the exchange house can be modeled by h of x equals negative 0.025x squared plus 2x, where h of x represents the height of the arch and x represents the horizontal distance from one end of the base in meters. What is the reasonable domain for this situation? For the students, a great many of them who remembered that I said that the domain of a quadratic function is all real numbers, well, they picked answer A, all real numbers. However, that wasn't what was being asked. The reasonable domain was being asked, underlined here. Let's graph the function in our TI Inspire calculator. We go to the graph page icon here, press enter. This is what we see. To get the function entry line, press the tab key if you don't see it already. Next, we enter the equation here, y equals, or f of x equals, negative 0.025x squared plus 2x. Press enter to graph. What we see is what appears to be a diagonal line through 0, 0. To change the window settings, go to menu, go down to option 4, window zoom. Press enter. Here we have option 1, window settings. Press enter again. These are the standard window settings. I changed the window settings as shown by using the tab key to move from field to field. The only settings I changed from standard were raising the x-max to 80 and I got that from the answer choices. I also raised the y-max to 60. Press OK to change the settings. This is what we see, an arch going from the origin on the left all the way to 80 on the right. Our answer is definitely B, x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 80. 
and that's a reasonable domain. Here's another problem. An object is fired straight up from the top of 100 foot tower at a velocity of 40 feet per second. The height h of t of an object t seconds after firing is given by h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 40 t plus 100. What is the reasonable range for the given situation? I invite you to stop the video and see if you can solve this problem, then restart the video to see how you did. Now if a student is not careful, he or she might choose C, all real numbers, but all real numbers is suspect on two accounts. The domain of a quadratic function is all real numbers, not the range. Also, we're talking about reasonable range, so C is eliminated on two counts. When we realize that height is the range, that narrows our choices between A and D. And when I graphed it in the TI Inspire calculator, this is what I put in for the function. And here are the window settings. I got here by pressing menu, then option four, window settings, then option one, window settings. The settings I changed from default were to make x min negative five, x max positive five, and y max 140. And this is what it looks like graphed. We can evaluate the vertex by pressing menu, then go down to option six, analyze graph, press enter. Go down to option three, maximum, press enter. We see the lower bound here with the hand on the y-axis to the left of the vertex we're trying to find, press enter. Now it says upper bound and the hand is in the same place. Arrow to the right of the vertex with the nav pad, click in the direction of the arrow and now the hands over here on the right side of the vertex and you see that grayed out area covering the vertex press enter we're given our maximum at 1.25 comma 125 and all that does is confirm answer a or d which we should have already known so could it be a in a quadratic function where the domain was not limited it would be a but what is this down here on the x-axis that i've painted with a blue line it's the ground or zero elevation which also eliminates answer choice A because the rocket is not going to go through the ground or the object when it falls. So our answer choice is D between zero feet and 125 feet for range. Let's look at our last problem today. In Texas the maximum legal speed that a vehicle can travel is 70 miles per hour. To estimate stopping distances highway engineers use the formula D equals 0.05 S squared plus 1.1 s where d is the distance needed to stop the vehicle and s is the speed of the vehicle that is a car in miles per hour which of the following sets best represents the stopping distances for cars on texas highways stop the video and solve the problem then restart the video to see how you did the first thing we need to do is think a little bit what's the lowest stopping distance possible. It has to be zero. So in interval notation, zero is going to be at the lower end, which eliminates answers B and D, B and C. So it has to be between answers A and D. What we need to do is plug in the maximum legal speed in Texas, 70 miles per hour, into the formula here in these two places. So it comes down to as 0 0.05 times 70 squared plus 1.1 times 70 and we get a stopping distance of 322 feet and that's slightly longer than 100 yard football field so our answer is a greater than or equal to zero but less than or equal to 322 feet be careful when driving fast because it takes a long distance to stop when looking at quadratic function problems particularly those from real world situations please think carefully about what is reasonable and use the strategies of plugging in and drawing pictures whenever possible this has been Reasonable Domain and Range. Thanks for viewing.